Hello, welcome back to the channel. Jackson with Loveless Vintage here, and today we're gonna be going to a local vintage event. It's like a garage sale, flea market type of event, but I got invited as a VIP, so we're gonna go check it out, and uh, we're gonna see if we can find anything. I'm actually looking for vintage anime tees. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I've gained like 10,000 followers in the past couple of months, mainly by showing my vintage anime tees. I'll put up a reel right here. Yeah, so I'm kind of looking for vintage anime tees so I can make some more reels for my page, so that is the main thing we're gonna look for today. We're gonna see if we can find some vintage anime tees but as always i'm going to show you guys anything else i find to flip or to buy for personal so if you guys like vintage shopping thrifting any type of content like that make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to my channel and let's go oh yeah should be filming dang look at this little look at this little all right guys here we are me and uh jackson <laughs> wow This is actually crazy because it's actually the uh, bags inside and it's like car. Oh. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> nah, they're they're the worst for sure. Okay. It's just not the best. You know? Don't they have like a lot of like space? They got like a lot of space. They got a good amount of space. Controversial, controversial, <laughs> how, much, how much did you make this, this year versus last year? That might hit pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll get Cecil to tell us. I'm just gonna give it to Jackson to sell on Depop. All this stuff is gonna be mine? <laughs> really? She's literally, if it doesn't sell, it's yours. Wow, for free? You just Amazing. gotta shake it a little bit. Okay. In a bra? <laughs> Yeah, wait, you have dollar bin? You know I love dollar bins. <laughs> oh, it's so it's so small though. What the okay, but heck? everything in these bins is two dollars. What? Wow. Two dollars, buy one, get one free. Okay. So oh, the little pack sun. That's so you right there. I yeah. Can definitely... well, I mean, that's 50-50 chance, so yeah, it's gonna work. I mean, I will say this. Alright, if I'm being honest. Palooza. My first time here. Puyallup Fairgrounds. I actually grew up going to these fairgrounds. So interesting to have a flea here, like a vintage market. We got Henry Final Flame on the camera. Filming me. I got this little badge. Um, you've seen a couple booths. Haven't bought anything yet. We're gonna wait till the end. Maybe we can get some deals. Why are you smiling like that? He's smiling because he knows I'm doing so good. I'm doing so good. Um, but yeah, we're gonna make our rounds. We stopped at a few booths. I'll try to film some more. Maybe get Henry to. You're smiling so big. Get Henry to film me some more. But uh, let's keep going. Let's go. Babe, like, oh, like if they go back there? Yeah. Wow. So much. I could spend like the whole day here, honestly. I'm gonna end up getting this. This one's super sick. Okay. Okay, so my one purchase at Thriptapalooza ended up being $81. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't make me feel bad. I already feel bad. That's but, cheap. Like, it's it's like it's sterling. Okay, it's sterling. If it's it really heavy. If it was comb hearts, it would have been like two thousand dollars. Yeah, no, true, true, true. It's sterling. It's really heavy. It's good quality, but like I don't know if that's a good deal or not. But we did it. But now I have to make back some money. So we got it. We got flips. Yeah, we gotta buy some. So we gotta get some flips. We gotta get we gotta some. We gotta go flips. to Mike. Mike. Mike has good deals. We're gonna go to Mike. Mike's got the stuff. We're going to Mike. Mike does have some stuff. Buy Let's some stuff. Buy one, get one half off. Uh, I still can't get any. Uh, there's no room on the bone even with that. Yeah. With Cecil. <laughs> Just <true>. kidding. <laughs> Are you posting it on the story right now? No, See? man. Well, did you guys, video. Did you, did you do, it has to be sold before. Why do you think? I'm, why do you think I'm gonna sell it right away? Maybe I want to rock it. Dude, come on. So you got a bracelet? <laughs> is, it, is it this one? It's right this there? one. How much you get it for? Eighty-one. It's sterling silver. Nice. It's like it's heavy and it's eighties. That's sick. Yeah. Like that. So all right, Henry has uh, forced my hand and like oh, I'm, you know those I'm thinking deal. about this. Okay, this is ten bucks. Yeah, this is a no-brainer. Oh, ten bucks. That's like, you basically just gave that to you for free. I think this and this he bundled together. He said seventy for both. I feel like that's a good deal. I think this one was a hundred with the blade back hit. This one was I think he said forty, forty or fifty. Good deal. I mean, you're getting fifty for that. We'll see. Maybe you can work a little bundle deal. We'll see. I feel like you have to hook me up. You know what I mean? Like, I want you to. I want you to make your money. 
the, the icy blue. This and one then you got the sage green. Yeah. Center suit. You know, I'm, and you're trying to make it. Mike, Mike has good stuff. Best no, no, like for I real. Said, I mean, that's the best booth here in my. Look opinion. at this. I was thinking like. 160 for both? For both? 160 for both? 160 for both. Oh, bro. Shake his hand. I'll have to do it then. <laughs> Is that a deal? Bro, are you sure? Are you got other tees on your Yeah, on I'm, your I'm, we're still gonna work deals. I'm still yeah, working deals. Okay. That's, That's a great deal, though. Alright, 215. Damn. H2O with the blade back hit. You didn't bring your bag, did you? I love AOP that. Dragon. Yeah. The Dazed and Confused. I've actually had this one before. It's a dope one. Dazed and Confused. Got the freaking. GD, Grateful Dead, DBZ, Gara, Whose guitar is that? Uh, All from the homie yeah. Mike. Like, Shout out to the homie Mike. Yeah. Yeah. How much is it? I'm hoping Cecil has some good stuff. I spent so much money. I just spent so much money. Spent 80 on this, 215 on a bundle. So we're looking at. Uh, we're looking at a cool three hundred dollars spent. Bro, cool three hundred dollars spent. But this guy, oh, yeah. this guy, how much you spent in the past few days? Uh, like eight, eight? like eight, something, like almost nine. We spent four, uh, two twenty yesterday, and then uh, four fifteen today. So yeah, so I mean, two, not not as bad as this guy right 835? here. Eight thirty five. Not as bad as this guy. Dude, he gave that bundle. Gave that bundle was really good, honestly. Bro, he, I, I asked him. I asked him two, which was a hundred bucks off, which was a low ball, and he was like two fifteen. I was like. Yeah, let's do it, bro. I mean, he's. I was good. That bro, was a good he, deal. I'm not gonna lie. He those. He get, He gave us steals. Yeah, that no, was good deals. He gave us steals. That was good deals. I'm stoked. What What you paid and what I value? Yeah, right, yeah. Here yeah. We so go. What, what I paid and what you value? Okay, you ready? Okay. So these are the pieces I just copped. Got from Mike. Shout out to Mike. We're with Cecil here. You know, vintage shop owner. He knows a lot. You are radiating heat. I know. You are radiating heat. This guy knows a lot about vintage. Knows about a lot about prices and stuff. So we're gonna see what what he thinks I paid and then his value on this bundle. All right. All right? So we have. Is it the Rasta one or is it the Lithuanian? Here, I'll show you piece by piece. X, double XL, mm -hmm. white liquid blue tag. Rasta? Yep, the Rasta. Okay, I right bet one. you paid... Well, it's, it's a bundle price. Okay. It is a bundle price. So do you want to do, do piece by piece? Yeah, we'll do piece by piece. Okay. Alright, well, wow. what do you value at? What do you think it's valued at and what do you think you paid? Realistically, I value that at like maybe like 140, 150, you probably paid 70 bucks. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next, size large. Oh, blade. Blade. Oh, blade. Oh, the H2O blade. Um, <laughs> I value that between like, maybe like 130, 150. Okay. Uh, you probably paid like, once again, maybe 60, 70 bucks. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude. You're, okay. Wait till you hear the prices then. Well, don't, you're giving me away. XL, boob. Nothing, XL, nothing crazy. yeah, like, it's like what, 80 to 100? value okay. probably pay like 40 bucks okay oh my god okay, XL this is days and confused this is okay like, yeah I've, I've had this thing before and actually sold it so. I don't know much about it yeah so it's a little full days and confused for like 60 to 80 sometimes you can probably pay 20 bucks okay let's see how how close he oh, is dragon, dragon I um I was actually about to buy this one uh, you probably got it for 20 bucks but I value between like 40 around like 40 50 bucks and then Oh, where's the like, oh. It's a front XL. XL, XL, XL friend hit. Like, DVD's down, but that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, like, I value that like 140. Paid probably 60. And then last one. Medium. Oh, the Gara. Gara you didn't get the large one? You wanted a little bit too much. Okay. Uh, you probably paid 30 bucks. I would sell it for 60 or 70. Okay. Okay. You want to break it down for him now? Well, I don't know piece by piece because I just paid a bundle. Okay, price. I remember. Okay, I, I remember the prices individually. Well, the, the entire bundle. I'll just. I'll just say. Okay, so the entire bundle before discount or anything was three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred was the bundle price for yeah. all of it. I got it for two fifteen. Two fifteen. Two fifteen. And let me break down the prices that added up to the three hundred. Okay, so this was the, this is the one that got it going though because I pulled this out. He paid ten bucks. Ten. Wow. Okay. And this um, is like, this, this, okay, these were his askings. These are all asking prices, so, obviously, oh yeah. you got them for cheaper. 50. Uh, 50. Uh, I think this one was 30. It was cheap, yeah. 30 or something. This one was 20. Yeah. And then this one, I think, was 40 or something. This was 100. 100. And then 50. 50 bucks. Oh, my guess is one about that. Yeah, prices were already pretty good. Yep, there but, you go. You think I came up? Yeah. Yeah, he came up. <laughs> for sure. Setting up to do some interviews. Okay, I'm still contemplating if this was a good deal. 
It definitely, I love it. I love it so he's much. He's driving himself insane. He's looked it up on eBay to try to find a similar car. He's gonna try to find one for cheaper. He's gonna be like, fuck! We're doing great. We're doing awesome today. Oh, I will say, I want to has me on interview duty. Oh, well, yeah. He's interviewing, I'm recording. Oh, yeah. Um, so, this is how we're spending the last 30 we're, minutes. We're uh, chained together. Uh, we're, we're chained together. Yeah, we're actually. Should we go down this way and get. Yes. Um, I know there's people. We're actually we'll just, bound. We'll just run it. That's a newborn baby right there. All right, let's be careful. <laughs> Okay, yes, this is the end of Thriftapalooza. Um, I didn't record a lot, but we did buy a bundle, which you guys saw, which was uh, cool. We bought this, again, I'll say it again, $81, $82 bracelet <laughs> that I still, I'm still thinking Such about. Such a steal. Still thinking about it. But um, yeah, we're gonna walk around, get some more interviews. They go for like 200 bucks. Yeah, they go for, exactly. It goes for, it goes for 100, right? You're right, exactly. So it's a good deal. But we're trying to find more people to do interviews with. They will be on, I think these can be on your Instagram Maybe or change. Yeah. Oh. Let's go this way, let's go this way. Oh, people can just donate? Should we look through their donations? Oh, shit, really? <laughs> let's give shop donations. Okay, okay, alright. It's closing time. There's Haley. Yeah, it's uh, it's over with. We did it. Thrift Palooza for like a half of the day. I went. It was fun. I would do it again. Uh, we got a bundle. I'll show you guys exactly what I got when I get home. And yeah, we out. Hi guys. Bye. We are back home with the goods. Shout out to Thriftapalooza. Thank you guys again for inviting me at the Puyallup State Fair in Washington. And I think they're trying to do other events like around the state and stuff like that, even out of the state. So shout out to Thriftapalooza. It was very cool, very fun, a unique, funky environment. I liked it. It wasn't just vintage clothing dealers. There was like garage sale type people. Like at the end of the day, actually, I got a shirt for free. I didn't film it, but it's in here. I'll show you guys. Like people were just like trying to get rid of their stuff. Like it was literally some of it just garage sale stuff. Like people are just trying to get rid of stuff for cheap. Wasn't all vintage. I bought jewelry as I talked about multiple times in the video. I think for personal, it's really cool. I've been wanting like a chunkier bracelet. This is the bracelet I wear all the time. I just got it off eBay. It's like uh, made in Italy. It's a uh, sterling, but it's like really lightweight and it's too small for what I actually want. So this is more my vibe. Enough about my jewelry that I probably spent too much on. We do have t-shirts and uh, most of them actually, I think everything I got was a bundle from Mike. Shout out to Mike. He was super nice. Cut me an insane deal. I'll go over over all the teas, like what I think I can uh, make off of them and everything like that. I also had a Thriftapalooza swag bag, which I didn't even know had some stuff in it. So again, shout out to Thriftapalooza. Here's the tea I got for free. People were uh, closing up their booth and they were like, any of the clothing is free. We have a, I'm pretty sure this is like 2000 Sun Island tag. It's a size large. We have the Hell Cayman Islands. I just thought that was sick. I've actually for sure sold a shirt like this before on Depop for I think like 15, 20 bucks. So this one I will be selling. Besides that, here is the bundle. Bundle, and I already showed most of it, but I'll talk in detail about some of the pieces. Two fifteen, two hundred and fifteen dollars, uh, and yeah, Cecil actually priced some of it out in the video earlier, so we'll have to see if I agree with some of his prices. But this is what started it all. I was looking at this. He pulled out an extra bin, and this was in it. The size medium. This is Naruto, so this is two thousands. We have the Gara. This was an XL. I'd probably keep it honestly. It's a medium. I was trying to get an anime or two for like this little reel I'm doing on Instagram, so we did get one. We got the Gara Naruto. T and this one he was like 10 bucks and I was like I'm in like this is probably at least I'd say like minimum 35 ish dollar tea but if i were to sell it i'd probably shoot higher probably like 50 dollars or so this is probably the biggest piece in the bundle the size large i'm not sure if this is a bootleg or just like a weird promo thing but size large but we have the halloween h2o with the alliance hit so that's the i think distribution company and on the back it's actually the wesley snipes blade so it's a two movie promo tee on one shirt i've seen this shirt before go in auction i think it goes for like around a hundred ish in the bundle i paid less on it i just was thinking that like Halloween is going to be coming up soon so might be able to like charge a little bit more for it but I think just off top this is probably at least like over a hundred dollar tee maybe like 125 maybe 150 if I pushed it haven't looked this one up don't know if there's sold comps or anything seems kind of rare to me with the like front and back hit I thought it was really cool and unique I like both of these movies so I was like let's just grab that this one couldn't find the exact same one uh listed so this one I'm not entirely sure on price either but double XL the liquid blue it's the white tag liquid blue you have the Grateful Dead 
said. Got like the Rasta colors, the big front and back print. Stayed in 2003, gotta be like $80 tee. And I think he originally wanted 50 bucks for it, but I got it for a little bit less because of the bundle. I'm probably trying to shoot for like 100 on this one. Probably like right around 100 or so. Call me crazy, but uh, we got that one. This boop, I think like the last, there was two sold on eBay. I was kind of iffy on this boop, but boop always sells. This is from 2001, Silky Pro Delta Tag, size XL. And I saw one on bid sell for like 50 to 60 on eBay. And then I saw one sell on bid for like 15 bucks, but that's just eBay. You know, sometimes people are sleeping and you'll get a steal like that, 15 bucks on a boop. I would value this boop around like at least 50-ish dollars. We got this Rock Eagle tag. This tag is so weird. It's like, I'm not sure how to describe it, uh, but it's such a weird material tag, but XL, but this Rock Eagle tag, there's like biker tees and some other tees. I actually just sold a Rock Eagle tag. It was like a skull all over print. It was almost like affliction style, but Rock Eagle, a pretty good tag to look for. But this one I just thought was so sick. All over print, Dragon Tee, 90s Dragon Tee. I forgot what I paid for this, but again, it was in the bundle for 215. But I was thinking I could minimum get like probably like 50 bucks for this. It's like super Y2K ish, but you know, 90s and just people are into dragons. I like dragons. I just got a dragon tattooed on my back. Not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see it that well through the sheer. Uh, but yeah, I just got a huge back tattoo and it's a lady and a dragon. I love dragons. I've loved dragons since I was a kid. So I had to cop the dragon grail. Two T's left. I'm not a huge DBZ person. I actually never really watched DBZ. The size XL front hit DBZ. Henry Final Flame was like, bro, you should get that. That's a good deal. So we got the front and then the little back hit. It was asking 50. Again, it was in the bundle. So I got it for less than that. Cecil was valuing this one like a hundred bucks or more. If you guys are interested in any of these pieces, make sure to DM me on Instagram, but just know what I paid for them and what I'm trying to get out of them. You know, I'm trying to make a little bit of money. And then the last piece that I got from him, I've actually had this tee before I thrifted this tee in the women's section at a Goodwill. I think it was like two years ago. And I think it was a large, but this one is an XL. We have the dazed and confused. We have the wake and bake. This one is official and it's licensed. I don't think there's a date on it though. Yeah, no date, but I'm pretty sure this is like mid 2000s, uh, little ringer tee, but actually no ringer here. So just the ringer on the collar. I had this tee before and I think I ended up selling it for like around 60, $70 and he only wanted 20 bucks for it. So I already knew that was a good deal. And then we threw it into the bundle. So we got all of those tees. We got one, seven tees for 215. You guys are gonna have to let me know if you guys think this was a good deal or not. And yeah, sorry, I didn't get as much footage of me going around as very hectic, very chaotic um and i don't really like recording myself in public spaces i'm still not good with it after years of doing youtube which is like so funny hopefully you guys enjoyed the video drop a like and let me know if you guys want me to go to more like thrift events vintage events i think they're really cool i think they're really fun to go to make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't subscribed and i will see you guys in the next video this is jackson with all this vintage peace out you guys